Hi, so we're here with Manoj and I'm Sherry and we're going to talk about uh, hanging out this week. Yep. So I hear that you talked about hanging out with Jesus. What does that look like? So when Jesus was coming into the world, the, in John 1 it talks about the word becoming flesh and dwelling among us. So thinking of that, how Jesus took on humanity, you know, mm -hmm. emptying himself of some of his godlike attributes mm. so that he could relate uh, to people, but he didn't choose the highest level of society or, you know, being like in some kind of super stature or high class. He actually took on the form as a servant, you know, mm -hmm. so he would be wanting to help people out who are in need, uh, wanting to give people a voice who maybe didn't have a voice, advocating mm -hmm. for folks. Uh, but he would also just kind of be in all kinds of places, whether it's the temple some of the time, but oftentimes he would go out and, and be with people at homes or uh, go to their workplaces. So that is what Jesus did. He, he really had a gift of hanging out. And in that hanging out, what does hospitality look like in the different places that Jesus may have been mm -hmm. or even um, in terms of hanging out? Yeah. Well, you know, in Jesus' day, hospitality was a, a key part of uh, just being uh, in relationships with people and, and uh, it was just more of a normal thing you would do not just for your immediate family or anything mm -hmm. but for uh, people who you didn't even know but were a guest at your home that was a very high honor and so when uh, Jesus uh, a popular rabbi and spiritual teacher of his time when he uh, went to people's homes it was, it was, it was quite the honor and so uh, people would want to share their lives and, and share their homes uh, in that sense, but uh, w when I think about hospitality, I think that's uh, the kind of place where Jesus would really want us to spend time with mm -hmm. is in a place where uh, there could be some hospitality, like just even over having coffee yeah. or serving so a it, meal. So it sounds like hospitality and hanging out kind of can be very similar in that mm -hmm. it happens in not only in the home, but also in a variety of places wherever um, we are in the marketplace or in our communities or neighborhoods. Absolutely. It so, creates like a platform for just talking, you know, yeah. and, and get, getting to know one another in a deeper way. Awesome. So in terms of hanging out, what is your favorite place to hang out at? Boy, I have a lot of them because I love to hang out. I'll, you know, I'll hang out, but uh, you know that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I really like uh, how Jesus did ministry at homes. In, in my mm -hmm. culture, in, in the Indian background, we really... I uh, love to just kind of be at the house and, and eat together and just get mm -hmm. to know one another in that way. You know, you see people's family pictures and sometimes mm -hmm. what they looked like when they were young mm -hmm. growing up or getting to know some stories about yeah. their family of origin. But I think it breaks the ice a little bit too, just on like on intimacy and, and, and uh, conversation. You're able to, to just kind of share more about things and, uh, you know, like get to see see different perspectives and meet family members too. So. Yeah, and it really brings out a lot of um, great things in conversation when you're able to be with people and have just deeper conversations, whether mm -hmm. it's about Christ, about God's Word, about life even, because sometimes our own lives can really bring about a lot of just Christian values that we learn about in the Bible, and that can mm -hmm. really be over conversations that we have. So Absolutely. I have one other question, okay. and this one, I know you're going to have a uh, thought on this too. If Jesus was not a Dodgers fan, mm -hmm. would you still hang out with him? <sighs> that would be a tough one. <laughs> Especially right now, Sherry, it is our <laughs> year. Go Doyers, you know, it is, come on, it is uh, definitely be difficult right now, but uh, Jesus was the Lord of Reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And so if you are to follow said Jesus, I think we have to think about how can we reconcile mm -hmm. both Dodger fans and, uh, you know, all kinds of fans, Nationals, Cubs, all, mm -hmm. all of it. Like, uh, I, I, th I think I could, I could roll with that if it would be very disappointing. But I, th I think uh, as I love the Dodgers, Jesus would probably love the Dodgers. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we hope you have a wonderful week.
This is Adam Edgerly from New Song LA Church. Hope this has been helpful. And if you want to know more, if you'd like to go deeper with us, be sure to see our website at newsongla.net and subscribe uh, to this channel.